Hello and welcome back to the Arcane Forge and to day 28 of the Drawtober Challenge, an illustration challenge where I try and draw every single day throughout the month of October and we are nearly there guys, we have nearly done a drawing every single day throughout this whole month. These illustrations are based on the randomly generated prompt words that you can see on screen right now and with it being day 28 that means that it is time for the prompt word delete. So let's get started and see what I came up with. So a lot of you guys had some really great concepts for this piece. When I first announced the prompt list on one of my videos right at the very, very start of October, Fish, the guy who does the music for my channel, suggested that this piece wouldn't be complete unless I uploaded this video and then deleted it and started again. While sadly that would have been a great joke, I definitely didn't have time for that. But what I did think of was the idea of someone being deleted. Magically, that is. This is a D&D &D and fantasy themed channel, so let's see how we can kind of come up with that idea. And I kind of thought of, you know, uh, power word kill, finger of death, and all these other spells that kind of just instantly destroy someone. Or spells who, you know, when they reduce you to zero HP, they kind of reduce you to ash or dust and things like that. And I don't think that's quite deleting. It's close enough. You know, it's an instant kill. It's an instant decomposition or, you know, entropic kind of uh, dissolving spell that reduces you to your base elements. But that's still not quite deleting. And while, you know, it's uh, constant, I guess, that nothing can be truly removed from the universe, that matter that made it up is always reused and recycled by other stuff. I thought one way to kind of get around this, to delete a person completely, would be to remove them from time, to undo their existence. And from there kind of formed the idea of a spellcaster kind of drawing in time in some sort of like black hole like gravity well and erasing someone from existence they never existed you know completely deleting someone's existence so the way i chose to represent this was by having the spellcaster on the left here i chose a wood elf because again i'm a little bit obsessed with elves sorry about that i had her placing her hand on the face of perhaps this wizard or politician he's quite well dressed very, very old guy. And the spell that she's casting is removing his entire history. So it's not just destroying this current version of this character. We can see them slowly having their past erased as they get younger and younger and younger. Starting off as a wizened old man, becoming middle-aged, a young man, a teen, all the way back to being an infant, a baby, a fetus, and just sort of a cluster of cells is the smallest kind of thing that you can see here, almost towards this uh, black hole we have forming around her hand. This torrent of magical energy, like a, the winds of change, are kind of drawing him backwards as every accomplishment, every thought, every good or bad deed is expunged from existence. It makes me wonder if with a spell like this, because I feel like this is one of those things that you could do with Wish. This is certainly a ninth level spell. But I feel like if uh, you did this, would the spellcaster remember what they've done? Or would they just notice that they've lost their ninth level spell slot? Would they have no idea that they have removed someone from existence? What could somebody have done to be deserving of that kind of thing? Whose entire life has only impacted people in the negative? It's not a spell I could ever cast, but it definitely seems like an interesting one. I wanted to try and tell some kind of a story with these two. So with the Wood Elf, I went very druidic and kind of witch-like with her attire. She's got some very sort of traditional swirling elven paddle patterns on her bodice, on her corset kind of thing, on her shoulder pads. She's got sort of um, woven bark, I guess, or, or sort of spun bark, kind of as I imagine a wood elf might be able to do, have bark just organically wrap itself around their limbs as some form of protection. And uh, her kind of skirt and her cape there. I imagined, although I didn't really go into too much detail with them, because this image was already getting quite noisy and I didn't want to have too many uh, random lines cluttering everything up. I imagine they would either be sort of leaves or feathers, something along those lines. Kind of ends up being up to your interpretation, because as I say, uh, after I shaded everything here as well, it just sort of, there was a lot going on. I didn't want to distract away from the central theme of this idea. But yeah, I wanted to make her very nature-based, very of the natural world. 
by comparison, the human here who's being deleted, I made uh, wearing very formal, very human attire. They have uh, lots of very sort of square and angular themes. All of their buttons are square. Their um, jacket, I guess, is kind of double-breasted, implying some sort of maybe military identity. They have uh, very long leather boots that come up to the knee, and a hood which kind of implies that either they want to be hidden, that they get up to no good, or perhaps that they are a wizard of some kind, something along those lines. Or maybe it just rains a lot where they come from, who knows? But I kind of imagine that this person represents someone who has, you know, is at the head of industry, perhaps, and has caused a great deal of harm to the natural world. Maybe they've done great things and accomplished fantastic advances in technology, or at least funded that kind of thing, on behalf of humankind. But this witch, this wood elf, wouldn't see it that way. They would see the natural world and the natural order as being polluted by this person. So maybe that's why they are deleting this person from existence. Who knows? I'll leave it up to you. Maybe you can think of a better reason why these two are in this situation. But anyway, I think I'm going to leave it there for today. I had a great deal of fun with this illustration. I really like this character. On numerous occasions, my wife walked in while I was drawing and said that she wanted to play this elf in our next D&D campaign, which is surprising because she's not really an elf fan. So I'm obviously doing something right, I guess. But yeah, I really liked her. I like both of these characters, actually. I had a lot of fun designing them and trying to speak to their individual elements. You know, the elf being quite organic, lots of swirls, lots of curved patterns, and the human being very angular and rigid. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I hope if you are drawing along with me, that you had a great time illustrating day 28 and the prompt word delete. And I hope you'll have just as much fun joining me for tomorrow's prompt, which is bind on day 29. But until then, I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.